What's going on guys, TechLift here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I use my iPad Pro for productivity, my setup, and how I go about using it. It's been a game changer for me. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So right off the jump guys, the iPad Pro for me was an investment in myself, in my workflow, in my whole productivity. It's amazing for content creation. And now that I've kind of transitioned over into software development, software engineering, it has been nothing but a pleasure to use it during that time and I highly, highly recommend this thing. I can't recommend it enough. From creating TikToks, Instagram reels, editing photos on Lightroom, over to using it as a workout timer, slash music player, slash second or third display for my computer, to note taking app, slash study, slash ebook reader. This thing has just been an absolute game changer. So the first thing I wanna go over is this trusty iPad stand from MagFit. It is a legit stand for this thing. I never thought that I would get into stands. I usually have like a case that flips open and then you can kind of use it to prop up the iPad and all those sorts of things. I've been using that for like a year. This MagFit stand I've been using for maybe six months now and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. It looks clean, it's modern, it's minimal. And not only that, but this thing does have a ton of ports. It has lightning ports, USB-A ports, headphone jack, it has an SD card slot. It has all sorts of things to make it a second little hub slash display. On top of that, the build quality Quality is super sturdy it looks super nice and I really like how it looks on my desk now aside from that if you're using a ton of things like let's say charging your phone need an SD card slot all these other things this thing acts as like a one central hub without having to have a bunch of things on your desk it's all literally right there on the iPad stand now if you have an external monitor you can hook it into the little thing and give it juice slash power it up and from there it kind of acts as this all-in-one hub now, moving on from that, guys, iPads in the past for me have kind of just been a waste. I never really used them. I ended up selling them or getting rid of them or giving them away to a family member. That has not been the case one bit with this thing. I have used it every single day for just lifestyle reasons. But on top of that, as of lately, it's been insane for productivity. I take notes on this as I'm learning software development, software engineering stuff. I use it as a second display to prop up my notes, to prop up my things that I need to remember that are crucial for that process. On top of that, I use it to play music. Music, throw on Spotify, throw on lo-fi beats, that sort of thing. And I have it there without taking up other real estate on my monitor there, which you can see it's a 27 inch monitor, not the biggest. So I definitely need all the screen space that I can get. On top of that, this is great for setting a Pomodoro timer, basically setting 25 to 30 minutes of uninterrupted work and then taking a five minute break after those 25 minutes just to stay on track so you don't procrastinate as much, etc. And just having like a big timer on the screen there really looks good and really just keeps me zoned in. Now on top of that for video editing, I use this as like a second or third display. I do have an HP laptop that usually sits right here next to my monitor. I haven't really been using it much at all besides to play lo-fi beats or like a podcast in the background. So this little trusty seed, since it's an iPad Pro and I'm rocking an Apple Mac mini, this duo for video editing is awesome. I like to throw on my like music or video props down here on this display. And then on my monitor, just the whole screen is video video editing display and I love it. It makes it so easy and so seamless. I literally drag from this up to here and boom, we're good to go. So again, that second display, that's what it's acting as. Now, one thing you can do is make the iPad into like the whole computer itself. I never really do that. I just use the iPad. And plus, I don't really want to do computer things on my iPad. I got it to feel kind of separated from work in a way, even though it does add to my workflow. Now, on top of that, for editing little Instagram reels or TikToks and that sort of thing, because I am a personal trainer and I make fitness content, it's awesome to do quick little edits. I definitely wouldn't do a huge, big edit on it just because I'd rather do that on my computer. But for quick little edits it's amazing and really just gets those creative juices flowing i can prop one up in maybe an hour or so and yes creating content takes a long time a lot of people just underestimate how long it takes and how much effort and just thought you have to put into creating content now for about 80 percent of the day my ipad is sitting right here on my desk it literally sits on this stand right here i do have a dbrand skin on it but as you guys can tell 
This thing flips up, it goes to the side. This is perfect for video conferencing. I've been doing a ton of Zoom calls lately with recruiters, with just people I'm networking with, trying to land a job as a software engineer. And using this as a webcam has been awesome. The quality is really, really good. I literally prop it right next to my monitor in the portrait mode that this stand can do. It literally just swivels nice and smoothly and I video chat or do whatever I need to do while I can still scroll on the computer if I need to pull something up, if I need to pull up an email, etc. It's super awesome for that. Now, speaking of emails and whatnot, from time to time, I do like to type and I'm not about to spend two to $300 on a stinking keyboard case for this thing. It makes absolutely no sense. This keyboard was like $100 and it's an amazing keyboard. Why would I pay like double or triple that for a case with a tiny little keyboard? I get it. There's not that many out there and they do make your life a whole lot easier, but I'm just not in that position right now. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I have been hooking up my MX keys to my iPad to type out. It does store up to three devices on on here so with a touch of a button I just hit number two on here boom it switches over to my iPad super fast and I type out emails I search up things I take notes if I'm scripting for videos and my little trusty mouse over here the MX master 2s as well hooks up to three devices I just swap it over to two and boom I kind of have this little modular computer ish setup for those types of tasks it's definitely a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster being able to tap one button connecting the keyboard to the iPad typing everything out super fast rather than kind of punching it in with my fingers. I just find it a whole lot easier and more productive and it's just added a whole lot to my workflow. Now, with all that being said, if you're a content creator, if you are a software engineer slash developer, if you are a recruiter or whatever career field it is that requires you to take notes, that requires you to do creative tasks, to do tasks that involve planning, this is a must in your desk slash tech setup. I live off this thing. It's super easy to pull up my calendar on here really fast and then look up on my monitor and punch everything in for the week on Notion. It helps me stay organized organized. It helps me stay productive and it just helps me declutter my mind and brain. Whenever I have an idea, I just swipe up on the notes real quick, literally jot it down with the Apple pencil here and it's out of my head and onto a note and I'll knock it out later or whenever I need to do it. I absolutely have to love this thing. And not only that, if you are a person who likes to just watch movies, Netflix, if you like to work out, like this thing is awesome for the lifestyle things as well. Again, it's a little pricey for just lifestyle. So if you are going to use it for work, Work. And on top of that lifestyle, it's 100% worth it. If you're going to use it just for work, it's already worth it there. If you're going to use it just for lifestyle, I think you can get away with getting a cheaper option such as the iPad Air, maybe even the iPad Mini. But the iPad Pro, if you're going to be doing creative tasks, if you're going to be using it for work, taking notes, if you're a student, this is going to be your go-to device. I highly recommend it. And if you're getting one, please do not cheap out and just get the stinking Apple Pencil as well. It's 100% worth it. And it just adds to the whole experience of the iPad. Again, this thing has leveled up my productivity, my creative workflow for making content, for taking notes, for studying, for learning new things, for just relaxing and de-stressing at the end of the day. This thing has been awesome and I highly recommend it. So with that being said, guys, a bit of a different slash new video. We got a new background. We got a new haircut. We got a bunch of new things coming. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. New videos every week. If you want to support your boy, go over to virusinternational.com. Get yourself some workout gear, guys, because a lot of people that create content that are software developers, engineers, gamers, you need to take care of your health. We're sitting a lot and you need to get up and move. And virus is the place to go to get those clothes so you can look good and confident in the gym and also be durable. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That's going to go ahead and do it. I will see you guys in the next one.